Hi everyone, it's Anne here from annshappystampers.co.uk and welcome back to my um, new catalogue week and this is project number four. Now today what I'm bringing you is, well what I'm calling it my box of tea, no sorry my book of tea <laughs> because I think it looks like a little book and the ribbon, you can just slide the ribbon off and it opens up and inside it's got a little um, box with a heart out and it just opens up and it holds five little tea bags which I think it is so sweet and really simple to make like I say I think it looks like a little book so this one was made in thick whisper white with the the new colour theory DSP um, the sweet and sassy framelits and then from the um oh, I can't remember what you call them lovely words I think framelits I've just snipped out the lovely and stuck that on now today's box we're going to make in calypso coral and I'm also going to be using the DSP which is um delightful daisy which goes with the daisy bundle okay and the stamp set because the heart that I'm going to put on the front this time, I'm going to stamp a sentiment and I'm going to be using Label Me Pretty and I'm using You're the Best, okay? So, you need a piece of cardstock for your box, the box part, which measures 7 and 5 eighths by 5 and 3 quarters, okay? Now, you need to score this on the long side at 2, 2 and 5 eighths. three and five eighths, six and one quarter, and seven and one quarter. Turn it to the short side and you want to score at half an inch, one and a half inches, and four and five eighths. Okay, now you've got two sections here. This is going to be the top. You've got one section here which is going to be the bottom of the box. Now you need the piece to that wraps round like the closure of the um, little book and this needs to measure three and a quarter by six and a half inches. Now this is take two so that's why it's already scored. Now I scored this on the trimmer because you need to score it at a sixteenth of an inch and um, that's the only way I could get it to fit. So you need to score on the long side at 2 and 11 sixteenths and 3 and 12 sixteenths, okay? And that's it for the scoring. So we're going to fold and burnish and then we are going to cut our little heart out of the front of our box, okay? I think this would make a great little gift. I think it would be a great little teacher's gift actually. So on the bottom we want to snip away this tiny little rectangle. Okay, then we want to cut up the score line, take a piece from there and a piece from there, snip up the next score line and do the same again. Okay. And then when the box folds round, we want the little seam at the back, like that. So we need to cut away this piece here, because we don't need this. Actually, I've just said this is take two. It's actually take three. <laughs> because... Um, the budgie was making made one big racket I don't know what it was doing but <laughs> anyway so that's that and then we need to keep the two little squares here but we don't need to keep the little bits next to them so I'm gonna cut this away here and I'm just gonna mite it in there and then I'm gonna snip away that I'm gonna cut down here 
and I'm going to snip away this and I'm just going to take a tiny tiny little piece out of here because if you take too much I find that the box doesn't stay closed very well and I think that's what I did on the other box that I've just showed you so just a tiny little piece and then I'm going to round the corners on these bits here okay so that is that and then we just fold and burnish our little wrap over book piece now this is going to be the front of our box okay so using the tiny little half an inch um, circle punch I'm just going to punch a tiny little finger hole out of there we don't need a very big one and then I've got the sweet and sassy framelits and I'm going to cut um, it's this one here I'm going to cut that out of there so you can see your little tea bags I mean you don't have to cut one out if you don't want to you could even put some fancy acetate behind it whatever you want to do so I've got the magnetic platform and I'm just going to pop the little heart roughly in the middle and then I'm going to run this through make sure you check it's not sticking over the edge because I've just squished that but it'll be okay and then you've got a spare heart which you could keep for something else so let me get this out of the way and we're going to pop our little box together so we need some tape down the little tab here to stick the box together And then if you just fold that like that and then fold that there it should line up okay and then they're gonna go in there yeah that's a bit of a better closure this one and then I'm just gonna use Tombow for this bit because I find it's a bit easier so I'm gonna put a couple of bits on the little tabs just to stop them flapping around inside and then just close that down and then I'm going to pop some Tombow on here just make sure that's all stuck and then I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to pop my bone fold in to make sure they're stuck and then I have got some more little tea bags and it holds roughly five um, you might get more you might get one more in yeah you possibly will so it's five mm, they smell gorgeous five little tea bags in there so there's our sweet little box and then for our little book piece which is gonna go just sit goes on like that we're going to glue this to the back of there but first we're going to pop our DSP on here and the back because I like to do the back as well um, DSP oh yeah and we've got a bit for the side as well just to I suppose make it look like a you know a proper little book really so tombow on the back And we're just going to pop that on there 
and then our little piece on this what will be the spine I think I need to open a new tumble you just seem to wear uh, they seem to run forever tumble glue you think it's empty and then you suddenly get loads out again so you know I try to make it go as far as I can really and then the last piece on the back you don't have to do the back I just think it looks better Okay, there's our sweet, sweet little book. And then <clears throat> what I'm going to do is just pop Tombow on the back of the box. You want quite a bit on because you don't want it to, to come off. Just like that. And then I am going to stick this just in beside the score line. You don't want to stick it on the score line, otherwise you'll have trouble closing closing it. So just try and get it nice and level. It should just come in like that. And how sweet is that? It's just so cute, I think. Um, okay, so I've got a heart for the front. This one is a little bit bigger because I want to put a sentiment on. And I've got the you're the best mounted and I'm going to use pool party because there's pool party in this DSP so ink up our little sentiment I'm just going to check it actually yeah that's fine and just stamp that there And then I've also got a little um, sponge dauber and I'm just going to ink around the edges of the heart just to make it stand out a little bit more. I bet you can hear Eri twittering on again. He's always twittering on. You know, I thought he was a really nice bird and he started biting. And now me and my daughter just don't want to put our hand in anymore. And I don't know why, because he, he didn't bite at first, but he's actually trying to bite you quite hard. So there's no way I'm putting my hand in there. We call him, um, we call him Evil Eri now. <laughs> Oh dear me, I don't know. He's a funny bird. Okay, so there's our little heart, which I'm going to pop quite high up actually because I want to use some of this gorgeous um, double stitched ribbon. I don't know if I've shown you this before, but you've got the crosses on one side and then the little stitches on the other again this has got daffodil delight in the paper so this will coordinate really nice be a nice bright little box I think so I'm just going to snip some of that off and then this is just going to keep the box closed and also makes it look really pretty great little gifts for anybody really especially someone who likes flavored teas etc I mean you don't have to put tea in you could put you know chocolates in or whatever else you can get in really okay so I'm just gonna trim the ribbon That's just so cute. And then I've also got some Calypso coral enamel shapes. So I might pop 
one here and I'm actually going to pop two there and then I might pop just a little heart in the top there and there we go we have two gorgeous what I think look like little books they make great little gifts you know and what you could even do is you could maybe put a nice fancy piece of um, card there maybe cut it out with a stitched shape or something or another heart and write a little message on you know I was going to do that actually I think on this one but I forgot <laughs> I think it was having to fill them three times before I got it right so there we go this is project number four and I will be back again tomorrow with number five now I just want to quickly say before I go um, obviously all my followers know I've got a really nasty skin um, condition at the moment and I was thinking about leaving the videos for a couple of weeks um, but the support I've had off my followers has been amazing I've had some lovely comments and it's just made us want to keep going so I just want to thank everybody who likes subscribes leaves lovely comments you know it really does mean a lot to us it really does and I wouldn't be where I am today without you so you know I just want to say thank you and I will be back again tomorrow so Take care and bye for now.